Hey there guys, it's Dasha Bella and Aurora and welcome back to Star Equestrian. This week's upload schedule could be a bit of a funky one because it might only be this video and technically this video was due to be last week's video. I'm so sorry if you guys were looking forward to a video last week. I was insanely busy and I'm going to be crazy busy again this weekend. So this might be the only upload for this week but I'm hoping after everything is done and dusted this weekend, I can relax and I can just go back to doing my regular upload schedule. But just to let you guys know what is actually happening. So I am going to be very busy because I'm moving guys. I'm moving to a different house. I'm renting. Okay, I do not buy a house. I do not have that much money. I wish I was rich, but I'm not. But yeah, I'm moving. I'm moving somewhere that is going to be a little bit bigger. It's like an upgrade compared to where I'm currently staying right now, where I'm currently renting. Um, but most importantly, that room has something that I've always wanted. Sorry, that unit is something that I've always wanted, which is a office slash gaming room. So I actually am going to be able to put my computer in this room. And not only am I going to be able to do work there, but if I do my YouTube stuff, I can do it there as well. I've always wanted to have a gaming slash office room just because I've never had one before. Um, before all of this, my computer would either be in my bedroom or it would just be out in the open, you know, like out next to the living room or near the kitchen or, or wherever, just out in the open space of wherever I was living. So super excited for that one because not only is that going to be like the place where I go if I want to chill, but it's also going to let me do some other exciting projects. So yeah, the disadvantage of having your computer out in the open is I can't always record because other people live here. Okay. It's not just me. There are other people that live here. So I need to be very conscious of the times that I do record so I can be, I guess, like a little bit more free <laughs> to do recordings. I don't know. So yeah, I'm moving, super excited, but just a heads up, this might be the only video for this weekend. So I'm so sorry if you were expecting more guys, I'm doing my best. But after I move and settle down, hopefully things are going to settle down because I just, the process of before moving, like getting all the boxes packed and everything has been super, super stressing me out. Okay, so today's video, as you guys can probably tell, I actually bred my final Pegasus. Okay, you you guys already know that I have completed my unicorn collection. Okay, I have all of my unicorns ready to go um, and we needed five mastery. That is done. We are so close to alicorn breeding. Okay, so the goal was to get the five mastery for unicorns. And then the final thing I needed was the five mastery for the Pegasi. And before this video, I had four mastery on the Pegasi. So I needed one more Pegasus to unlock the ability to do alicorn breeding. And because there was no double gems last weekend, which not going to lie, guys, super bummed. I thought we were going to get gems based off of the previous distribution of double gems in this in the past. Um, yeah, that didn't happen, so I didn't buy gems. I'm not going to be pulling for the Haunted Arabian in this video. I'm so sorry if you guys are looking forward to that. Um, I'm still not sure if I'm going to be pulling for the Haunted Arabian. Actually, it might be a good time to sort of discuss this because I was considering like the direction of my channel because I think up until this point, as you guys know, um, whenever a new horse comes out, I will always try to get it. And I always try to get it because I like showing off the new horses to you guys and for us to kind of see like, are these horses worth it? You know, like, are they really worth the amount of money that we're spending to potentially get them? To the people that get horses and they're like the RNG ones and you get them in like three rolls, like guys, that is that's totally fine. Okay, if you're only spending three pulls to get a horse, like congrats, that is amazing. But for a lot of people, it's either 10 or more. So there's a lot more money involved. Um, and so I was sat there and thinking, do I really, really want this Haunted Arabian? And I'm going to be honest, guys, I think what's going to end up happening with the Haunted Arabian on my channel is that I will, I don't think I'm going to spend full price for the Haunted Arabian. I don't like this horse enough to say I'm going to spend $200 to get it. 
because for me to do a 10 pull for this, it's going to be $200. So even if there's the double gem sale, okay, this one's where things might get a little bit tricky. Even if the double gem sales happen, I'm also still not sure if I want to pull for the Haunted Arabian because I just... Like this horse is cool looking, but it's not like, so when last year, when the night glow came out, um, it was, it was a five star. Yeah. So when the night glow came out last year and also the, the glacier storm, I super like these two horses because I think they look super cool. They're super unique and they have like all these really cool special effects. Yeah. I liked these guys. So if they popped up or something in a limited banner, I think I'd probably try and get them. Um, but this is just so underwhelming. Yeah, I don't know. There's just something about this horse that I'm just not a super big fan of. So if double gems happen, I might summon for this, but I also might not. Um, I'm going to just sort of let the idea cook in my brain because, yeah, I really don't know if I want the Haunted Arabian. I'm actually totally okay to skip the, the Halloween horse this year. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm actually really considering just skipping it because I just do not care about this horse enough. Um, I think a good example of one of my regret buys is the Luminous Spirit. You know, I got, I got the first limited horse, which was this one. Um, and it has like its secondary form. I never used this horse. I truly, truly never ride this horse. So I spent $200. This horse is now collecting dust in my inventory. Um, and I just feel like it's totally not worth it. And what made it worse, okay, what rubbed salt in my wound when this horse came out was that the day, I think it was either the day I uploaded the video of me pulling this, or it was like the day after we got double gems. We literally got double gems the day after I paid full price for the 10 pool. I was so salty. You have no idea. I don't think I ever said anything, but I was so salty and upset because I could have saved so much money buying during the double gem sale. Um, so yeah, I was super bummed about that. And I was hoping, okay, I'm hoping double gems come back for this limited banner. Um, but yeah, even if it does come back, like I will buy gems because I will be needing gems for my alicorn breeding, okay? Because we're gonna do some alicorn breeding, but I'm not sure if I wanna spend it for this. I'm thinking about it, guys, okay? Just let me think. Maybe I'll change my mind at some point. So yeah, just a bit of a yap about the Haunted Arabian. Um, but let's talk about this Pegasus that I bred today, okay? Um, it wasn't, sorry, I didn't breed it today. I bred it last week. Um, it's birthday, I think was like 18th of October. So I don't know if it was like Thursday or Friday that I bred this horse. I don't remember, but I remember waking up early in the morning and it's birthday was like 8.30 or 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> don't ask me why I know these details. Okay. Um, but let's talk about the horses that I used to breed this horse. Okay. So let's talk about toast. So this is toast. I used toast as one of the parents for this project um and the reason why i use this horse is because it is not finch okay finch has given me two falls so far with this exact same coat pattern okay i am i'm so sorry i love this on finch um but i'm having two pegasus with this mark like this coat pattern i am just over it okay i'm over it i want more variety in my stable so i'm hoping he has like weaker genes <laughs> when it comes to this marking um another thing is also his natural mane and tail color i really really love this beautiful golden ombre okay on the mane also on that tail super super gorgeous um, love the eyes, by the way. I love the bright eyes and how tan toast is. Like, it's such a beautiful contrast of, like, it's just like a Pegasus that you can find outside and it's just tan. Like, it's tan. It's always out and about. It's just, yeah, super energetic looking horse. Um, another thing as well, okay, this one is more about the mane and tail. So, some of you guys already know that I have been trying to get a curly pegasus because I, at the moment, I actually don't have any curly horses and Toast was supposed to be, well, if I got lucky, okay, Toast was supposed to be a fully curly horse 
So Toast was lucky in getting the curly tail. So this is, I suppose, like the curliest tail you can get in Star Equestrian. We don't really have anything else that would match a curly mane. Um, but unfortunately, we got Finch's mane for Toast. So all that we're missing now is the curly mane. So my project for Toast was to find a, another horse. Um, it had to be a regular horse because you can't breed Pegasi and you can't breed Pegasus with other people, okay? Um, but I had to find a player with a fully curly horse because if I had a fully curly horse, then the foal should, in theory, 100% always inherit this curly tail. Um, and then I would have the 50% chance of having the curly mane. So let's say I didn't get lucky and I got this again. Um, I mean, it's, it's not the best looking mane, okay? But it's better than some of the other mains you can get in Star Equestrian. Um, so yeah, like I have a 50% chance, which guys, I, I, I prayed, okay? I prayed and I also looked high and low for the perfect horse. Um, there was one horse that I spent like all week looking for. There was one horse I found and I forgot the name of the player and the player literally like logged off when I sent them a DM and I forgot to save their name. Oh my gosh, I wanted to breed with that horse so badly. They had a, um, I think it was like a light dapple gray. And this was the dapple markings where the dapples are like super, super light. Okay, I know this Kygo Frisian is like a horrible example, but it, it's like a, it gives you a better picture of like what this horse was. So this horse was a super light gray. So it was almost like whitish gray, but it was still gray because I had the black muzzle. Whitish gray, the horse's name was Whisper um, and it had the dapples and it had like the, the roaning as well on the body. These are not dapples. I know they're like little splotches. I mean, technically they're dapples, I suppose. Um, but yeah, it was kind of like this and it was just this light gray and I had these beautiful dapples and I wanted to breed with this horse so badly. Its name was Whisper. If the player that I'm thinking about and talking about is watching this video, it's going to be so funny. Just so you know, your horse is beautiful, okay? Whisper is gorgeous. I wanted to breed with Whisper so badly, but I never ever saw you again after that one time you spoke in global. <laughs> so, um... If, if we ever run into each other, or if you ever see me in game, please feel free to, to hit me up. I would still love to breed with Whisper because I am so keen to know what kind of foals I'd be able to get with your horse. Um, but yeah, it was just, oh my gosh, this horse was so beautiful, but I couldn't find it. So I had to find another player that had a curly mane and tailed horse. Um, and thankfully, there was a player that actually messaged on my previous YouTube video saying that they had a couple of curly horse options and they reached out to me in game. And I actually ended up breeding with this player. Thank you so much to Jade for reaching out. She had some beautiful curly horses and I was definitely like hooked in to two of her horses, but I settled with this one. So let me hide my character very quickly. This is Pretzel on the right hand side, just this beautiful, gorgeous chestnut with this beautiful, and this is also the really cool thing, this chestnut brown mane that this curly horse has, it is one of the rarer brown manes. You can't get this naturally on a lot of horses. I think one of the only coats I remember in game that has this rare mane and tail color is the Snowcap Peacock Frisian. So the fact that it had this color and then Toast had the ombre, I was going to be happy regardless because it, the baby was gonna have a rare mane and tail color. There was a good chance that we were going to get a completely random um, body pattern as well. Cause that was the biggest thing. I really, really, really did not want to get the same pattern. Um, and these horses, they're both chestnut. So the only downside to this breeding was that both of these horses are the same color of chestnut. There's no dilution, there's no darkening. So there was gonna be a good chance that we were just going to get a plain brown baby. And I think at this point, I just kind of accepted it because I would love to breed the perfect horse, but just because of how unique a lot of horses are in Star Equestrian and also how rare it is to see a curly horse in Star Equestrian because a lot of people are not breeding for curlies that my options are quite limited. So again, thank you to Jade Lily for letting me breed with Pretzel. Like, 
Get you have no idea, okay? I had been holding on to my little bundle of gems. So as you can see in this picture, I was sitting on like seven and a half thousand gems. So that was one of the reasons why I wanted to breed that day. I had, I think I got like some gems from like some club chests um, and like from like one of my racing chests, which I was super grateful for, okay? I didn't need to buy any of these gems. They were there and I saved them and I didn't spend them until this breeding happened. Um, so let's play the video because I recorded this, okay? I recorded I recorded the breeding. Um, quick note with this pairing as well. So because it's a Frisian and a Frisian Pegasus, we are guaranteed a Frisian Pegasus. I didn't have to worry about it being like an Arabian Pegasus or, you know, a quarter horse Pegasus, that kind of business. Um, and also this horse, it had the social personality. So I was hoping that not only was it going to get curly, but I would also get the social personality. So here's the breeding. And honestly, did not know what to expect aside from the fact that we are getting a brown little chestnut baby. And so this is the result of this pairing. I was shocked, guys. I was totally floored. I was like, hello? Like, who are you? <laughs> so off of my previous pairing, I did not expect this little spotty baby to appear out of nowhere. Okay, little chocolate baby, totally understand. But the spots, like, where did they come from? Um, after the breeding, because I think Jade did see this little baby as well. Jade did mention that this particular horse gives spotty babies. So I already found out after the breeding. And I'm totally fine with it, guys. Okay, as long as it's not the same pattern that Toast and Finch has and, and even Pumpkin Spice has. Okay, all three of them have the same pattern. I was happy. Okay, the spots, new, different. I actually don't have a horse with this marking, so kind of happy with this um, and also the fact that I have these spots this means that I'm going to potentially get a little spotty pegasus when I do my alicorn which is going to be kind of crazy um, another cool thing about this fall was that it got toasts ombre mane and tail so I am happy with this I think I kind of preferred this over the chocolate brown mane from pretzel super happy and I also got the blue eyes so a lot of the stuff in this baby is definitely from toast okay um, even though both parents are equally contributed, I can definitely see a lot of toast in this little baby foal. Uh, oh, I should probably show you guys as well. Um, so for the traits, it was challenging, quirky and sassy, which challenging, that's from toast. I'm not going to complain, guys. I'm not going to complain. It's not the same dappling as everyone else. I think the fact that I got challenging, I'm just OK with it. I'm not I'm not annoyed. I'm not upset. I'm just accepted it so i have my little cute tiny spotty little pegasus and look you bet i i spent all day that day just i just left my computer running and i just went and done stuff because i had to go to work and everything i left my computer let my foal grow up and then that night you have no idea how excited i was to see what i got when this horse fully grew up because remember right when your when your foals are foals they will not tell you what their main tail is going to be like until after they grow up. You don't know what the, t what the style is going to be, the natural style. So the only thing left was to pray that Toast was going to give me a curly Pegasus. So say hello to my last Pegasus that I am breeding in Star Equestrian. Okay, their name was Pride. But uh, I have renamed this horse since then. This is Sprinkles. <laughs> I love how it's like all food names. The dad was Toast. The mum was Pretzel. And then now we have Sprinkles. Um, so yeah, this is my fully curly Pegasus, guys. Oh my gosh. I am so like, okay. You have no idea how high I jumped in my seat when this horse was born, okay? I was like, oh my God, this horse is so cute. And then I grew up and then I think I, I think I like temporarily or just momentarily passed out and just died, okay? I died. I left this world for like a couple minutes and then I came back and I was like, oh my gosh, I got a, I got a curly Pegasus. So, okay, as you can probably tell, I am very happy with this Pegasus that I got. 
Could it have been better? Like, yeah, okay, sure. If I'm going to be like super, super picky about this horse, I could have been like, oh man, I could have gotten like a different marking. I could have gotten a different color. Guys, I'm just happy the fact that I have my first ever full curly Pegasus. Like, look how stinking cute little Sprinkles is. It literally just looks like a cupcake with sprinkles, like just a chocolate horse and dotted with these little silver sprinkles. And then maybe this could be like the buttercream topping or something, this yellow buttercream on its mane, which I, you know, this is the first time I've had a, a, um, a ombre curly. It didn't occur to me that curlies would look like this if they had two tones in their mane. So I actually think this is a really cool experiment for me as well, just to see what a curly looks like if they have two tones in their mane. Cause I've never seen this before to be completely honest. Um, now the cool thing is that because I have mastery, if I am unhappy with any colors, I have the option to change them. And I'm not gonna lie guys, some of the yellow options, like if I wanted to just, you know, give this a little bit of a sun kissed look, some of the yellow manes, like this one doesn't look too bad. Um, the white is okay as well, but it's like a flat color, right? Because it's not the ombre anymore. It's just a solid color. Like this looks good as well if I really wanted to go in this direction. Um, but then if I added the rainbow colors, because we have the mastery for those as well, then you start to see these little strips of color in it again. Um, and I was kind of experimenting with all these two tones and I was like, do I want to keep the original ombre or do I want something a little bit special? Because I, I really like some of these two tones, um, but I think I also like the original color. Like it just gives so much personality to Sprinkles. This cute little curly Pegasus. Like guys, I am so happy. This is what I got for my final Pegasus, okay? I got almost everything that I wanted. I think the only thing if I wanted to really change it was just have a different base color and a dilution just to give it some more dimension on the coat. Like I, I wouldn't mind if this was black. I wouldn't mind, actually, I don't know. I think I like chestnut better than bay on this, um, coat pattern. I think if I was going to like super, super narrow down another thing to change, maybe if I got one of those horses where maybe something like Prince, like these little tiny, little tiny specks. Like I like these little flecks, like these are cute. You know, this is super, super cute. Um, not to say like I'm hating on sprinkles or anything because sprinkles is cute in their own adorable way. But I think preference wise, when it comes to like these little like flecks on the body, definitely prefer the tiny flecks. If it was the other way around and let's say like the base was white and then the spots were brown, I think that actually would have been a really cool combination as well for, for sprinkles. But I'm okay, again, we're not, we're not gonna complain, okay? We're gonna be happy with the fact that we have just the most adorable little curly Pegasus. And this is gonna be exciting as well, guys. Um, we gotta go back to my, we have to go to my ranch, okay? Very quickly, gotta go to my ranch because I have five mastery in my Pegasus line. I'm going to be able to do alicorn breeding, which is not gonna happen in today's video, okay? I am um, just, I don't have gems, okay? I don't have enough gems. I have 3,746 gems right now. So even if I'd like to, I physically cannot breed an alicorn um, because if I'm not mistaken, let's actually look at this together since we actually can do this now. Um, I'm gonna put sprinkles on one side and then let's put one of our unicorns in. Yeah, okay, so this is what I talked about last week. You cannot crossbreed unicorns. Unicorns have to be the same breed as the Pegasus. So this is actually true, guys. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. So this can happen, okay? Just a heads up. This is not This is not a could. Actually, this is a going to happen kind of thing, okay? This will be my breeding pair for when I do my alicorn breeding, just a heads up so you guys know what is going on. Um, but it costs 4,500 gems because it's an alicorn. Um, so, so that seems to be like the fixed price. Now, the only thing is like, I hate both of the personalities of these horses, guys. <laughs> I can't believe it. I hate the personality of both these horses. Why can't I ride you? Okay, there we go. I had to like click. So yeah, alicorn breeding is going to be on the table for us. I actually cannot wait. And I hope, I hope it's a curly. 
Um, if the tail doesn't come through, I would not mind the braided tail as well, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just so happy, okay? I'm just so happy. I got little sprinkles here. It's just, just wonderful, okay? Wonderful, wonderful little Pegasus. Um, and I guess, like, because we now have the mastery, it just occurred to me. Okay, where's sprinkles? I'll just grab right random Pegasus. I got sprinkles. Full mastery. And I can play as my horse. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot that's a thing. Because I've never done a wild horse mode on my Pegasi. Wait, I need two. Okay. Sprinkles. Sprinkles. Let me hop off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry, sprinkles. Okay, we're we're in shambles today. Okay, we are in shambles. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this gorgeous little beauty cannot believe I got blessed with such a pretty Frisian Pegasus. The mane in particular. I think some people are going to hate the mane and I don't blame you. I definitely think the curly mane in Star Equestrian, it's a little wonky. Um, the only reason I actually fell in love with curly manes is because Alicia Online, I blame that game so much. The curly manes in that game are so pretty. I kind of wish ours looked like that too because it looks much cleaner over there. Um, but I don't mind this too. I don't know. I think curly maned horses are just like curly mane and tailed horses. Okay. Curly horses are just so pretty and they're so unique. And I think because they're like so kind of rare in Star Equestrian, that might be why I was so inclined to kind of breed one. So yeah, this is sprinkles. We're going to be seeing a lot more of sprinkles in the future, especially when I have the gems to do my alicorn breeding. So that is going to be super, super fun. Um, there is one thing I am going to talk about before I end today's video because there really isn't much going on aside from the sprinkles announcement. So if you guys have not been keeping up with the social media platforms for Foxy, last week they released a brand new trailer. Um, it was a trailer where it's basically like a guide slash introduction to breeding in Star Equestrian. If you want to go watch the video, be my guest. Um, it's basically just walking us through a lot of the mechanics of breeding. But the one thing I wanted to point out with that video is that it might be hinting at the next thing to be released in Star Equestrian. Because if they announced it there, like, why would you announce a feature and then like not release it soon? Um, so basically, that video teased upcoming fantasy breeding. This was the thing that so many of us have been looking forward to, being able to breed our fantasy horses. And so in that video, they explain that for fantasy breeding, they are adding a new mechanic, or I guess it's like a similar mechanic. We kind of have it already, where if you breed two fantasy horses together, and in the demo in particular, they used the Autumn Clydesdale, that's all. Oh, that's an Arateri Clydesdale. Uh, so they used a Autumn Clydesdale and they bred the Autumn Clydesdale with a Maelstrom Clyde. And because these two horses bred together, they created a brand new fantasy horse. Oh my gosh, what was the name of it? I've got to check again. So breeding these two horses together was going to give you the Grove Clydesdale, which is a completely brand new fantasy horse in Star Equestrian. So all of a sudden, now that we know that we are going to get brand new crosses when we breed our fantasy horses together, I have a lot of questions. I, I really do, especially with our current systems and how the new systems are going to be implemented. So I think the first thing I'm kind of wondering is whether or not we will be able to breed our fantasy horses with other people's fantasy horses. Because at the moment, we're allowed to crossbreed regular horses. So Frisians, Clydes, Shires, Quarter Horses, you name it. But we are not allowed to breed with other players, Luminous Spirit, um, the Unicorns, and also the Pegasi. And I guess Alicorns as well. I think they're also going to be banned. So I'm wondering, is it going to be the same for fantasies? Are they going to make it unaccessible for people to access some of these breeds unless you play the summons to get the base fantasies. Because if they do that, like these bred fantasy coats are going to be so difficult to get, so rare. And I feel like 
it would be such a missed opportunity because there would be people scrambling to try to get these brand new horses and then some people are just aren't going to be able to get them because they're not spending hundreds of dollars a month on the gacha system. Because at the moment, the only way to get the majority of these fantasy horses, aside from the ones from the VIP rewards, like if you wanted the Atlantean Arabian, if you wanted the Maelstrom, um, the Glacier, like any of these horses, because I assume they're going to make new ones for these coats, are we really going to have to just spend money on summons and basically gamble for a chance for a base horse to create a different horse because that is crazy like that is such a predatory way of gatekeeping content from players because I know at the start when we got our VIP horses right so these are the VIP exclusives if you don't spend any money on Star Equestrian to buy gems and you're not a VIP so you're not unlocking your VIP rewards like of course these horses are not available but now they've made a new way to get other horses and I am so scared that they're going to follow the same methodology with the current fantasy system because Pegasi and Unicorns are considered fantasy horses. If they do that, like so few people are going to be able to enjoy the new feature. Like wouldn't you want to open this up so that more people would buy gems to try their hand at getting the exclusive horses because like at some point there's going to be so many fantasies in Star Equestrian. Like, I think people are going to get lost. <laughs> like, I know I'm going to get lost and confused at one point. But yeah, we are getting so many fantasy horses in this game. It is not funny. Like, we keep getting horses, like more horses, more horses, more horses, more coats, more patterns, more things. And you know what we're not getting? <laughs> we're not getting content to, to do stuff with them. So it's basically like a... A br I don't know at this point like Star Equestrian is kind of like a Brea horse collection game but it's like haha it's all random so yes your horse is going to be unique but you're also going to have a chance of getting duplicates which is like the, the saddest part about breeding in this game breeding is so expensive already and then to have a very good chance of getting dupes like that annoys me okay so yeah anyways that's coming up in Star Equestrian I'm excited for it and I hope it's implemented in a way that I think is going to be a good one for everyone. Okay, like, yes, okay, sure. There's They want to encourage people to be VIP, to spend money for the VIP and then to spend more money on top of VIP. But I feel like you also need to throw the players a bone. <laughs> like, come on, you know, I'm a VIP, but I really wish this game was just more accessible so that more people can play Star Equestrian. And then if you enjoy the game enough and you want to buy gems, then at least you can do it without feeling like you're being ripped off. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, anyways, oh my gosh, I can't believe this like video ended in a rant. Just normal dasher things at this point anyway. So <laughs> guys, thanks for sticking around while I'm like kind of rambling. I hope you enjoy sprinkles here, just like having a bit of the spotlight I suppose while I talk about the new content but let me know in the comments below are you excited about the new system that they're implementing for fantasy breeding or did you expect it to be something else serious question because you know I'm not the only one that has opinions on this game I'm pretty sure other people are also thinking all kinds of things about this game would love to have a chat in the comment section below um, and again just a heads up there might not be a video later this week. This might be the only one, okay? I'm so sorry, guys. Hopefully when, every, when I'm done moving, it's just everything settles down. I'm so stressed right now. It's not funny. <laughs> Okay guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much again for watching another video of Star Equestrian. If you enjoy my Star Equestrian content, do leave a like on the video so I know that you enjoyed it. And question of the day, thoughts on fantasy breeding? With the information that we do have right now, are you happy with how they're going to be implementing fantasy breeding or did you think it was going to be implemented in a different way? I would love to hear your thoughts because I do think this is another major feature that is coming our way. Just because the trailer dropped, like you don't drop trailers like that unless you're almost ready to deploy a major feature. So I think fantasy breeding is on the horizon. Would love to hear what you guys think about it. 
I'd also love to give a big shout out to all of my channel members as well. Guys, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for the extra support on the channel. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Thank you all so much again for becoming a channel member. And finally, a message to anyone that might be new to the channel. Hi there, my name is Dasha Bella. I'm a virtual equestrian VTuber and I play a whole bunch of horse games on my YouTube channel, but you will be seeing a lot of star equestrian from me as well. If you're a bit of a horse nerd like me and you play a lot of horse games, definitely consider subscribing to the channel so you can get future notifications for all of my future uploads. I think we're gonna be a really good fit for each other. That's gonna be it for today's video. I'll see you next week. Bye guys. Actually, wait, there might be another upload. I'm not sure. I'll see you next time. Bye.